What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my PlayStation 4 video game collection. The easiest way for me to record this video is to share what I have in my PlayStation 4 library because most of my games I have are digital versions. I do have some physical copies of my games, but since PlayStation Store has a lot of great sales all of the time, most of my games nowadays are digital. So let's get right into this. Okay, so up first is Apex Legends, basically just a battle royale game. You get to pick your legends and go and play. Honestly, I find this is a lot of fun. Battle royale games to me are a lot more fun if you have friends to play them with, but I really enjoy Apex Legends. Next is my arcade games. We have Dig Dug, Galaga, Pac-Man, and Miss Pac-Man. Honestly, I got them because I really enjoy retro games. I think they were no more than a dollar each. And it's a great thing to do if you have nothing else to play, if you want to go back to a retro game. The fact that it's on the PS4, I really enjoy that. Next is Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. This is the first video game for Assassin's Creed that I've ever played. And it's basically an extension of Black Flag, which Black Flag is the first Assassin's Creed full game that I purchased. This here, Black Flag, I think it was only $15 whenever I purchased it on sale. I really enjoy it. I still play it from time to time, I just haven't gotten back into it yet. Next is the Battlefield games I own. So Battlefield 1 took place in World War 1. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. It's what got me back into the Battlefield series because at the time that Battlefield 1 came out, Call of Duty was still transitioning over into futuristic games, which I do not enjoy. So ever since Battlefield 1 came out, I go for Battlefield more than Call of Duty. I do not like Call of Duty anymore. So Battlefield 1 is awesome. Battlefield 5 is the one that came out after Battlefield 1. It basically takes place in World War 2. I find the war stories for Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 awesome. I think they're accurate. The gameplay is awesome. The maps are huge, so I get to actually snipe in them compared to Call of Duty where I can't do that. But then recently I got Battlefield Hardline, which it was only $6, so I guess you get what you pay for it. But it wasn't that fun. It was kind of cheesy. Gameplay is very minimal. There is, it's basically set up like a TV show or a movie where it just goes through each episode telling you what happens. Um, it goes through a lot more cutscenes than there is gameplay, so I just didn't enjoy it as much as I did Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5, but it was only $6. Next is the Borderlands Handsome Collection. This was free for PS Plus. I think you get the pre-sequel and the second Borderlands game. I only played the pre-sequel. Honestly, I didn't find it too fun. But I've been told it's better with friends, I just haven't had time to sit down and play this one with friends, so I honestly don't enjoy it as much. Borderlands just might not be for me. Moving on is Burnout Paradise Remastered. I actually got a platinum out of this game, it was a lot of fun, reminded me of my childhood on the PlayStation 2. But it was very repetitive, I never played Burnout Paradise before until I got this one on the PS4, the remastered version. And it is very repetitive because for each level of your license, you have to go back and play races and play them over and over again after you get each less, uh, license upgraded. So just very repetitive. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I enjoyed it. What I didn't enjoy was the zombie mode. For Call of Duty, I don't like the zombie modes in them. I actually hate zombie in Call of Duty. So it was okay. Modern Warfare uh, Remastered was a free PS Plus game, I think, in March. I actually enjoyed it. This is the first time playing Modern Warfare. It was the PS4 remastered version. I enjoyed it. Online actually sucked, in my opinion, but the story was okay, so that's why I enjoyed it. Call of Duty World War II. Honestly, Battlefield V took place in World War II. Call of Duty World War II lacked everywhere that Battlefield V did great on, so it was an okay game. The story was interesting but it didn't have much going for it for me. Next is Cluster Truck. Basically a cheap little time waster. Your character basically jumps from truck to truck trying to pass each level. Cross out, you basically start off with a cheap stock vehicle and then by getting kills and winning races, or sorry, not races, but winning levels and matches and different things like that, you can go and get more parts to basically customize your vehicle to whatever you want, so that's really cool. Dead Island Retro Re Revenge. When I was on my hunt for retro games, I came up with this. I loved Dead Island. I'm still waiting on Dead Island, a new Dead Island to come out, which I don't think at this point is going to happen. But Retro Revenge, 
no more than a dollar. I actually found it was fun. Detroit Become Human, this is my favorite free PS Plus game that has ever come out since I got PS Plus when I first got my PS4. I really enjoyed it. I think it's 10 out of 10, very phenomenal, and I'm really close to getting a platinum for it. Disc Jam is basically like tennis, but with flying discs. Very simple, fun game. Don't Bite Me Bro is basically a pixel zombie game. Not really fun, it is kind of survival, but not much to it. UFC 3, I don't know why it doesn't show UFC 2, because I actually have the hard copy of that game, but UFC 3 was very more advanced. I love the career mode. It really got me even more into UFC than I ever have been, and I'm a huge fan of UFC right now because of it. Energy Balance is basically a math puzzle game, but I got the platinum out of it. It just wasn't that fun of game. Energy Cycle is made by the same people. It was a lot more of a fun puzzle game. I actually enjoyed this one a lot more and got a platinum out of it as well. Epic Dumpster Bear, very cheesy. Basically kind of like a Mario-esque game where you just go through each level, kind of cheesy. And I'm just gonna move on from here. Everybody's gone to the Rapture. It was interesting, I just never got into it because it's very slow and it was a free PS Plus game, that's why I got it. Far Cry 5, first Far Cry game that I've ever played. Huge fan, would highly recommend it to anybody if you have yet to play it because it has a very cool cult aspect to it and I got a platinum out of the game, I really enjoyed the game. Far Cry New Dawn is a continuation of Far Cry 5, basically the aftermath of what happens in Far Cry 5. They did take out a couple of the features from Far Cry 5 when they brought out New Dawn, but I can move past it because I still enjoy New Dawn and got the Platinum for it. Fishing Planet is, I believe, a free game on the PS4 for fishing. Honestly, I did not enjoy it. I'd rather pay for a fishing game if that's what you're into, a fishing simulator. Fortnite, just going to move on because I haven't played it for a long time and I'm not into it anymore. Foul Play is a cool game, but it's not something I can grind out on. It's basically like um, a play and you're going through each level killing enemies, but it's to get a high score for your play or whatever. Four Kings Casino and Slots, it's basically just a casino game. Game of Thrones is a telltale game, so the story is on point. And I've never really gotten into Game of Thrones, but this, uh, I think it's the first season of Game of Thrones, that's what it's based on. I actually enjoyed the game, it was a lot of fun. Gran Turismo Sport, the Actually, I think I got it on uh, PS3. I've had played Gran Turismo games before. It's a lot of fun. It's a great racing game, and I still go back to it from time to time. It's just I have so much to play. I just don't have time to just grind out on this game. GTA 5. This is a game that since I got it back when it first came out, I played it nonstop for years. And I feel at this point I've done everything that I can for the game. I'm kind of burnt out on the game. I have no intention of going back and playing it. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Play this back on the PlayStation 2. I got it for, I think, a couple bucks on the PS4 when it came out. It reminded me of my childhood. That's why I wanted to get it. And on the PS4, it's the first time that I actually got to uh, beat the game. So I actually enjoyed that. I got a platinum out of it. H1Z1, before PUBG and Apex Legends came out. It's basically a free battle royale game. It's kind of cheap. I don't have any intention of going back and playing it. Heavy Rain came from the creators of Detroit Become Human. It looks interesting. I just haven't had time to sit down and play it. It's something I plan on going back to eventually. Horizon Chase Turbo. If you grind out on this game, you can get a platinum, but it is a very cheap game. It's not a lot of fun, so I just haven't got the time to go and play it much. Hunting Simulator, I used to on the PS2 love hunting games. This one here, it's kind of cheesy, wasn't worth it. Hustle Kings is basically playing cool, doing stuff like that. I think that's all that it is. Infamous Second Son, I haven't had time to get this game. It was free for PS Plus, that's why I downloaded it back whenever I got my PS4. I just, the only PS, uh, the only infamous game that I played was the first one that came for my PS3 when I bought it. I didn't enjoy it, so this one here I have no intention right now to play it, but maybe someday. Ink Explosion is the cheapest, is, is one of the cheap games that I purchased that was extremely fun. I would recommend it to anybody. You can get a platinum out of it. I actually loved this game. Inside My Radio is basically like, 
a game that you go through each level and the faster that you go, the radio and the beat and the sound of the game goes faster, so it's interesting. Just Cause 3, never really got into it. Whenever it came out, I did, but I never continued to play it because I had so many other games to play. Killing Floor 2 is basically a zombie game. It's fun, it's repetitive, I just have so much other things to play that I'd rather not play it. Laser League, when this first came out for free for the PlayStation 4, it was a lot of fun, but now if you go and play and you try to find an online game where you match with online players, it's hard because not too many people play the game anymore. Next is the LEGO games. So I have LEGO Batman 3, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, Jurassic World, and Marvel's Avengers. Out of those games, I only beat Jurassic World and LEGO Super Heroes. Basically, it requires a couple playthroughs, but you can get a platinum for each one. When my hours at work go down in the winter, I plan on playing the rest of the LEGO games and beating them. Life is Strange Before the Storm. Basically, it shows what happens before the events of the first Life is Strange game. You can get a platinum out of it. I got it for a huge discount, so I plan on playing it when my hours go down as well. Little Nightmares. Felt like this game was a lot of fun. Has a huge twist at the end of it. I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's into kind of creepy but also fun games. Little Big Planet 3. I remember this being a very popular game, the Little Big Planet series. It's just not for me. I didn't enjoy this game. Mad Max. It's an apocalyptic game. It has racing aspects to it and killing of enemies. It's a lot of fun. I plan on going back to it, but no time frame of when. Mafia 3. I liked that it was in the 60s time period, except the game is extremely repetitive, so I don't know if I'm going to go back and play it at all. Oops. Um, Marvel's Spider-Man. A huge fan of Marvel. Huge fan of Spider-Man. The gameplay is phenomenal. The story is phenomenal. The graphics are great. The story is amazing. I'm a huge fan of this game. 10 out of 10 for me. Mega Man Legacy Collection. I honestly did not like the Lego or the uh, Mega Man games. I didn't find them fun. They're just not for me. Minecraft. Never really got into. My Name is Mayo. Just going to move past it. Minefield is something I used to hate on PC. Now I actually know how to play it and know how to beat it, so I find it's fun. MX vs. ATV is not what I expected. I remember the PS2 version, which is a lot more fun and a lot of gameplay. This here is kind of cheap and cheesy. NBA 2K16 was a lot of fun. It was free for PS Plus this year, uh, the year it came out. So I enjoyed it. I played it with my friends, and that got me to get NBA 2K19, which... I only got for $20, so for $20 to get back into NBA is a lot of fun for me. Need for Speed 2015, the first Need for Speed game that I actually beat and got the Platinum for. I'm into racing games. This was a lot of fun for me. I'm a huge fan of it. Need for Speed Payback, I just beat the campaign recently. I'm trying and grinding out for that Platinum. I know it's there. I know I can get it. Definitely would recommend it. But there's a lot of features in Need for Speed Payback that I did not like, so I might make a video talking about what I did not like for Payback in the future. If you guys are interested, let me know. NHL 16, NHL 18. At 18, I basically went and played over 30 seasons combined of my GM mode and my career mode. It's a lot of fun. I plan on getting NHL 20 when it comes out this year. Ninja Senkai DX. Didn't enjoy it. It's a free PS Plus game. Not a hero. Pixelated PS Plus game. Did not enjoy it. Onrush, which is a racing game which reminded me of Burnout. It was a lot of fun. I'm one trophy away from the Platinum, which I think I only have three races left to do. It's a little bit of a grind, but I would recommend it. Overcooked. It was a free PS Plus game. I really wish it had online co-op, but I have been game sharing and playing it with my friend. Pac-Man 256 is basically like an app on your phone of Pac-Man. It's kind of cheesy, but it is fun to waste time on. Payday 2, I love anything about heists. So this game, I plan on playing the campaign on my own, and also playing the online with Jack. Ratchet & Clank reminded me of my childhood. PS2 playing this game. I just never got into it on the PS4. Qbert rebooted. I played it on the... Basically, I got it because it's a retro game, but it's not fun. PUBG, 
I love Battle Royale games. This was a lot of fun, but I never play it unless I have somebody to play it with. Saint Rose, Gat Out of Hell, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I love the apocalyptic underworld. Sniper Elite 4, the first Sniper Elite game I played. I found it was fun. A little bit of a grind, but I enjoy it. Sonic Mania, basically a retro Sonic game. Mud Spins, uh, sorry, Spin Tires Mud Runner, basically a mud game. It's not what I expected it to be. South Park Stick of Truth and South Park Fractured Butt Hole. I really enjoyed these games. They reminded me of the show. The comedy from the show for the years it's been around is there. Very fun. Not too much for gameplay. For the first one, the second one is a lot more fun in my opinion. Spiral Splatter, which is a cheap game. You can platinum it, but it is a grind. I don't play it too much, but it is something that I do want to eventually get the platinum for and try to grind out and get it. Next is Steep, which is the first snowboarding game that I've played in a very long time. I remember having a computer game back in the early 2000s of snowboarding. So this reminded me of that, reminded me of my childhood. It's a lot of fun, a lot of stunts you can do in it. I really enjoyed it. Super Destronaut DX is basically a Space Invaders clone in a great way. It's a lot of fun. I got the platinum for it. I really enjoyed the game. It was pretty cheap. And Tetris Ultimate. I never really got into, I do enjoy Tetris games, I remember playing them as a kid, I just don't have the time to go and invest into this one. La the, the Last of Us Remastered, I did enjoy this game, I did get decently far in the campaign, the online personally sucked, there's no zombies online, I thought that was a huge letdown. The Walking Dead Telltale series, the first one. I enjoyed, I remember playing the first one on the PS3, beating it and platinuming it, and on the PS4 it actually was free for PS Plus, so I got it there. The Walking Dead Season 2 and The Walking Dead A New Frontier, which is the third game. Honestly, I enjoy most of the Telltale games. I think they are a lot of fun and I really enjoy them. And I can't wait to play the final one. It's on sale right now for $20, but I can't justify paying $20 when all of the Telltale games that I've ever played, the three Walking Dead games, Walking Dead Michonne, uh, Borderlands, Batman, and Game of Thrones, I only paid no more than $10 for all of them, so I don't want to pay $20 for just one Telltale game, even though it would complete my Walking Dead Telltale game series, and I would get a Platinum. Eventually I will get it, but just not yet. Track Mania, it is an okay racing game, it's just not something that I play often. Trails Fusion, it was fun at first, but now I don't really have the time to invest into it. Tropical 5 is basically an app where you create and upscale your worlds, basically. It's like a, an app you would play on your phone. It was fun at first, it was the most expensive game back whenever I got it for free for play PlayStation Plus. I think it was like a 70 or $80 game. I just don't play it anymore. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Back when I got my first PlayStation 4, this came with it. I actually have the hard copy disc of it. It is fun. I remember playing the Uncharted games back on the PlayStation 3. Haven't played in a very, very long time, but it's something that I keep in my collection because I really want to one day go back to it. Of course, WWE 2K17, 18, and 19. I have a WWE video game collection. I think I've shared that on my channel in the past as well. I really enjoy it. I just wish that WWE games would finally bring back the GM mode. That's honestly what I'm waiting for. And WWE 2K20, I'm honestly excited for it coming out this year. So this was my PlayStation 4 video game collection. I hope you all did enjoy. This was a little bit longer of a video than what you're used to because I wanted to share everything that I have in my PlayStation 4 video game collection. And also because most of my games are on digital, so this was the easiest way that I could record this video and talk about the games along the way, because I do have a couple physical copies, but most of my games are the digital version, and I wanted to talk about the games on the way, so that's why I recorded it this way, and that's why it's so long, because there's over 100 games in my collection that I have on my PS4, or that I've played on my PS4, everything that I've played in the past, or currently playing, or what I'm grinding out for that Platinum Trophy right now, so... I hope you all did enjoy. If you guys have a PlayStation 4 video game collection on your channel, comment it down below. I'll check it out. I would say comment your collection down below, but if you have a big collection like I do, to type out all of those games, it'd be easier for you just to make a video like I did. So 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.